Yo, we got Reach Records back up in this thing with Andy Minio. Set it right this time. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano the Third. Y'all guys are the third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider becoming part of the family. Click the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Now today we back with a little more Andy and I actually thought that I had heard this song already, but I realized that this isn't the same song that I was thinking because I didn't know that this song had visuals to it. So today we got clarity. And last, and what was the last song that I did? You Can't Stop Me? You Can't Stop Me, I think is what it was. But that sh was fire. And then that one that we did with Lecrae, that one was also fire. So Andy just goes in, he's got the bars and they're not like spirituality bars. They are, but they're not like in your face with it. He's just going in and being him. And that's really all that I wanna see. So I'm excited for this because that boy Andy, he, he, he gets me hype. He, go, he gets me all in my whatever emotion he's feeling, I'm feeling because that's the passion that he has and that's that shit that I like. That's that shit I do like. But let's just go ahead and jump off into this thing. We got Clarity, EP Visual. It's a little older, it's about a, two years old almost at this point, a year and nine months. So we just gonna have to see and see what we got. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel, links it down below. And let's get it. Sometimes you can just be in a funk creatively or, you know, as a person and... Hold on, hold on. Is my shit not HD right now? Looked a little fuzzy to me. Oh, you know what? It probably looked fuzzy because the vi the name of the, vi the song is Clarity. So, like, his name and the name of the song is fuzzy to play off the whole Clarity thing. I don't know if that's true, but that's a bar for me and my thought process if that's not the way it actually is. Sometimes you can just be in a funk creatively or, you know, as a person and it's like there's a fog around you and you can't see out of it, but that's part of the journey. It's a dope shot right here with that little like anamorphic lens like flare that goes across the top of the light and it's just him standing out there. Just little visuals. It's like it's just a little vibe. That's all it is. That's part of the journey. I love when the audio engineers, when they leave all those little like sounds in the back, cause it makes it feel more real. It's tight, it makes it feel more alive. Hmm. Patient. This beat done took its time, when I so do I. Look, uninspired, under fire. Now somebody's getting fired, terrified, paralyzed. Twitter game, verified. Married mm. life, verified. Understand, mm. on demand, undermanned, son of man, a son of Sam. Somewhere in between the two. Yo, just the delivery and what he... Shit's fire already. He said, Twitter game verified. That's where I'm trying to be, coach. He said, Twitter game verified. Married life, verify. Like, very fire, but he, the slant rhyme to make it fit clean. Twitter game verified. Married life verified. Understand the on demand. Undermanned. Son of man. A son of Sam. Somewhere in between the two. I mean the two. Yo, it's a, such a dope delivery. He said, son of man. Or son of Sam? Am I walking the righteous path and, and being like Christ, son of man? Or am I being like the psychopath serial killer, son of Sam? Somewhere in between the two. Somewhere between psychotic and iconic. Somewhere between I want it and I got it. That's Drake. That's a dope line. Son of man, son of Sam, somewhere in between the two. That's Clay. Son of man, a son of Sam. Somewhere in between the two. I mean the two. Spend the evening be with you. Oh, I know I need it too. Do I believe? Believe I do. On my faith walk, took the scenic. I mean, the scenic route. Get lost. I be aloof. Adidas on. Still need a boost. What was this? This guy right here, man. Every time I want to stop and like talk about the bar that he just spit, he just spits another bar. And I'm like, uh, uh, I'm like hesitating. He said, do I believe? Believe I do. It's like a double meaning. Do I believe in God? Do I believe in, in Christ? Best believe I do. Like, yo, no doubt about it. Or is it like, I don't know, my life really hasn't been that great, but I believe I do, I don't know. That's tight. And then he said, on my faith walk, faith walk, I took the scenic, nah, my bad, the scenic route. Cause people take the scenic route because they everything is so happy-go-lucky, you know, every, all, I can do all through Christ who strengthens me situation. But then there's also people that take the scenic route, like, yo, God, why have you forsaken me? Like, I hate that I'm in the position that I am, but it's because of you and the place that you put me. Who's to say one's right or one's wrong, you know? It just depends on your personal experiences, which route you taking. He said Adidas on, I need a boost. Like Adidas boost, like ultra boost. 
fire. Adidas on, still need a boost. What was the eating fruit? I'll ask him when I see him. Daily bread, that's per diem. But I'm nah. fast like a beam. Riding past you in the PM. And a stolen car that's fleeing from the scene of a crime. Apollo Creed and his prime. Rocky verses. I'm a person that's. What was the eating fruit? Like the Garden of Eden. I'll ask him when I see him. And he said, Daily bread, that's per diem. Yo. That's a bar because literally per diem that your work gives you when you're out on like a conference, like you're traveling for a conference, they give you literally daily money to go eat. So what you do with that per diem is you buy food. So he's saying daily bread, money, per diem. And then he said, but I'm fasting like a BM. Like I'm like I'm moving fa like fasting with food, going back to the per diem line, going back to the daily bread, but also fasting like a BMW, like a BM drives fast. Yo. And a stolen car that's fleeing from the scene of a crime. Apollo Creed and his prime. Rocky verses. I'm a person that's trying to believe I'm worth it. I'm working through it, but work is what. Oh, the, the beat, bro. The way it just came in with the boom. And then the. I couldn't even pay attention to the words because the beat was just like, it caught me off guard. I was expecting just the same thing over and over so we can, so we can pay attention to the bars. But nah, the beat's like, don't count me out just yet. And a stolen car that's fleeing from the scene of right a crime. Here. Apollo Creed and his prime Rocky verses. I'm a person that's trying to believe I'm worth it. I'm working through it, but work is well work, but well worth it. It's hella churches. Did y'all just hear that delivery? Let's listen one more again. Believe I'm worth it. I'm working through it, but work is well work, but well worth it. It's hella that breakdown of his flow, just the rhythm of the flow. What well, work is, well, work, but it's worth it. Yo. And that's the way you gotta feel. Work is work sometimes. Like, I don't wanna be doing it, but I got to. But in the end of the day, it's worth it because I have a purpose. Bar. And then he said Apollo Creed in his prime, Rocky versus, like Rocky versus Apollo Creed, but also versus, like what he writes, what he spits. Rocky versus, because he's the best. That's trying to believe I'm worth it. I'm working through it, but work is well work, but well worth it. It's hella church is still hell is working fine. What's that tell us, fellas hurting? It's like melanin or crime. That's the elephant we hide. Truthfully, we probably lied. Rather have That's the elephant that we hide. Like skeletons in the closet, but like you can't ignore the elephant in the room. That's the ele that's the elephant we hide. And then it sounded like I don't know if it was an instrumental, but it sounded like a elephant blowing its trunk. And he said there's hella churches, but hell is working just fine. You know how much of a bar that would be from somebody else who is like big time, who's not like a Christian rapper? And everybody would be like, yo, that was one of the illest bars I ever heard. When it still is, it's just like it's not gonna get the shine because Andy has a very he has a very niche audience, obviously. And what's dope is that like he don't even care. He's he, this is what he's about. This is who he is, and that's what makes that's what makes it dope because he's not preaching to me about it. If anything, he's talking about like his he's talking about like his own personal uncertainty in, in terms of whether he's worthy of the righteous life, you know, that kind of thing. And that's what a lot of people feel. And that's why I like this type of Christian music, because it does it's not preaching to me. It's not preaching to me that all is well and good and all you need to do is accept the Lord. A lot of people don't feel like that because they come from hard lives. They come from poverty. They come from crime ridden neighborhoods. So they don't feel like the Lord is on their side. So they don't want to hear that shit. What they want to hear is someone who is following the light of God. They want to hear that. But also that person is real and like, yo, I don't even know if I'm worthy and I don't even know if it's working, but I still have that faith because that's much more believable to someone who grew up in a below average situation. And that's what Andy does very well. He's doing it right here. Elephant we hide, truthfully we probably lied. Rather have a tribe than unity so you and me divide. I'm hellish and divine. I'm We'd rather have a tribe but unity so you and me we divide. Just a wordplay. Truthfully we probably lied. Like the wordplay on that last like bar two is just perfect. It's clean. The unity so you and me divide. I'm hellish and divine. I'm trellis and divine. I'm telling me I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm I know better. All I, all I want is clarity. See, well, this is what I'm talking about right here. Like, he's spitting that vulnerable, not like, yo, everything's gonna be all right because God got us. The feeling and emotion of feeling like you're not good enough and feeling like you don't deserve that type of love. And even if that love even exists, 
Like here he is saying right here, we're all looking for that clarity and all of my favorite heroes, all of the biggest names that I looked up to, they're frauds just like me. That's clean. That's the smoke in the What? That shit went hard like that out of nowhere? And the, the graphics and like the air and oh bro, everything about that little beat breakdown was, was tight, 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 tight. And by the way, this air right here, that's Helvetica, baby. I think it's Helvetica. Might be Ariel Black, I'm not sure. It's the same font that Nike uses though on their air products. I don't know why I know that, but can't see through that smoke in the That's the smoke in the That's that smoke in the Oh, that smoke in the The value of doubt is to keep you open to God's revelations. If you don't doubt, you don't change. If you have to have finite answers to infinite questions, uh, you're not going to move. See, that's what I'm talking about. Just put it, I don't know who that lady is, but just putting that clip in there. If you don't doubt, you're never gonna change. Like, that's the way people feel about a lot about not Christianity in general, but about religion in general. Nobody wants to hear that there's a finite answer to something. God is infinite. There's no way that there can be a finite answer to something on something that's infinite. And that's what turns a lot of people off to religion because they hear that. That's the that's the stereotypical thing that gets drilled in their mind that that like, is God real? Yes, but is he real in the way that you envision him? Yes, like how do you know? How do you know that whatever religion you practice is right? There's no way to know. And this is why I like Andy, and this is why I like other people in Reach Records like Lecrae, because they, they're telling their story, they're telling their their truth by saying, yeah, I believe in God, yeah, like this is this, and this is how I feel about certain things, but I'm not telling you that that's the right answer. I'm not telling you that everything that I believe rings true 100% of the time. I don't even know if it rings true or if it is true, but that's why they call it faith, because if you knew, you wouldn't have to have faith, you would have the answer. That's, that's human of them. I like this at dusk shoot too. Like it reminds you like a Jaden Smith video, but li but less pink and more blue and more dark. The value of doubt is to keep you open to God's revelations. If you don't doubt, I didn't even see that it says surrender back there when they when they loop past the first time. You don't change. If you have to have finite answers to infinite questions, uh, you're not gonna move. Yo, know, this beat is this beat's fire. Like the whole transition from the first half to the second half, it reminds me of uh, something by Kanye West. I forgot what song it is. Oh my, it was on my beautiful dark twisted fantasy, the very first lead single, or that's not that like the lead song on the album when it transitions. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Like, he's just spitting that real shit. He said, half my adult life I spent unlearning all the bullshit that I heard in some sermon. That, I know. Shit, he's going off. But that's what I'm talking about, that real spit, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people feel like that. They feel like they, like, they feel like they've just been, like, their brain has just been pounded and pounded with, like, what they're told is the truth. And then they go out and live a normal life, and they're like, damn, now I gotta unlearn that entire part of my past because all that shit was wrong. Sorrow, worry and that never fixed tomorrow. Just take away all my strength today. It was black and white, but now pain was great. Maybe that cloud that I've been stuck in, I constructed, I conducted, orchestra a noise. I don't hear your voice. I done made the choice. My consumption a TV tap. I like, I feel like I'm pausing it too much because I am, but he's also just like going in. He said, I'm so worried about tomorrow that I'm like losing all my strength and energy today. When tomorrow I can't even fix, it's not even here yet. And all the things that I was told in like certain churches or with the way I was indoctrined when I grew up, like they told me it was black and white, but really this love, this life, this like this one experience that we have on earth and how we communicate and connect with what's above, it's just like all shades of gray. There's no black and white in life. It's a dope, it's dope. 
dope line. And then just the realization, like maybe that cloud that was like covering my life and stopping my sun and stopping my light from coming through, I constructed, I conducted the orchestra of that noise. This is like the same thing that NF says in a different vibe, because obviously NF has a much darker vibe than this, and it's not so like bouncing, it's not so, it's lively in a different way. It's much more thematic, it's much more like exaggerated in the, in the sound. But what makes NF like relatable to his fans is that he says that I know that this is my own doing, but I don't know how to escape it because this is all that I knew. Where Andy here is like, yo, I broke out that and realized, and now I got this clarity that I can make my life whatever I want. They're both tight for different reasons. Orchestra a noise, I don't hear your voice. I done made the choice. My consumption, a TV, tablet, tweeting, twerking, gramming, gaming, rapping, working, fashion, working, 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 working. Can't tell if I, my mind, I just made it. That visual right there to go with the work it, work it, work it, work, yo. And he's talking about all the different things that we consume to keep us like occupied. Because if we're not occupied, we're going to start questioning our own existence. We can't have you doing that. So here's all this different shit to keep your mind occupied. Working, 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 working. Can't tell if I, my mind, I just made it. My faith, I misplaced it. My can't tell if I lost my mind or if I made it, lost my faith or misplaced it. Yo. But again, the camera work, and I don't know if this was on purpose, I don't know if they're actually focus pulling. As the beat switches, we lose clarity in the camera, we lose focus, and then it comes back in. I like to believe that that was on purpose, you know? Working, fashion, working, 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 working. Can't tell if I, my mind I just made it. My faith I misplaced it. My pain I upgraded. Lost my happy thought, then I got jaded. Focus in my direction, in details and perfection. All my faith in white Jesus and my leaders. They weren't who I thought all these years. They weren't even just his, just his style, bro, and the flow, and just the confidence and swagger. It's off the charts. That little singing part, white Jesus, and then it comes back in. We're gonna listen to that again, obviously. My direction, in details and perfection. All my faith in white Jesus and my leaders. They weren't who I thought all these years. They weren't even worth your tears. The opposite of faith ain't doubt. Yeah, it's when I get it all figured out. Some days you're getting on my- The opposite of faith ain't doubt. It's when I got it all figured out. Bar right there, fam. This that's what I just said earlier. Like you faith is literally believing in something that you can't you can't say is true. But he's saying the opposite of faith here is in doubt. The opposite of faith is I got it all figured out. Whew. And then just to switch up from like loss, the chant of loss, and then found. This shit goes hard. All my faith in white Jesus and my leaders. Found. They weren't who I thought all these years. Found. They weren't even worth your tears. Yeah. The opposite of faith ain't doubt. Yeah, it's when I get it all figured out. out. Some days you're getting on my trust. Some days I can feel so empty. Some days I feel like you love me. Some days I feel like you love me. The second I'm furious with God, I'm totally close. Because you can't. This is what I've been saying the whole video, fam. And he's saying, sometimes I feel like you love me. Sometimes I feel like you left me. And that's just human nature to feel like that. And that's why these dudes that are on Reach Records, that's why these dudes who like don't spit that like everything is right through God, always follow God no matter what. Like we know that, but that's not the real, that's not the way the normal average real world person thinks. The real world person is going to see their shit going all wrong in life. And they're gonna be like, where you at, bruh? I've been following you all these years. It feels like you're causing this, you know? Like, that's just the way people think. And it's refreshing to see somebody spit that reality. Second, I'm furious with God, I'm totally close. Because you cannot be furious with somebody who's not there. I didn't is this chick atheist that he's quoting right here? That'd be fire if it is, if she is. The second I get furious with God, I realize why am I even furious? Because he's not even there, he's not even real. That's controversial for like a Christian song, you know what I'm saying? Because you cannot be furious with somebody who's not there. That's the smoke in the Shit's clean That's that smoke in the All oh, that smoke in the Do that smoke in the That's the smoke in the That's that smoke in the All oh, that smoke in the I want God to 
God to wrap me in the everlasting wings and say, there, there, it's all right. And that cosmic affirmation of, yes, I know it's terrible. I know it hurts. But be patient. It's going to work out. I'm not going to lose. I'm going to win. It's all right. And that's the, the, the basic affirmation that I think only true doubters can come to. Yo, and I don't know if I just realized this or if this is me just looking too deep into what shit symbolizes. I feel like when he stepped out of the light, he wrapped in a certain way, but then when he stepped back into the light, he wrapped a whole nother way. It was much more like, okay, God, it's all in your hands. Let Jesus take the wheel. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that light is representation of God or if they were just like, yo, this looks dope. So let's go ahead and just, you know, shoot the video here. I'm just gonna circle around twice and we'll see what's up. And that's what's dope about art and visuals and music. And just, you can you can relate it to whatever you want to. It could be a stretch for one person. It could not, it could ring true for somebody else. But yeah, that shit was tight. This dude right here, Andy, is the truth. That's all there is to it, but yeah. That's it for today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving in a comment down below. I'll go boost all of that. I was not expecting the video to be this long because I was definitely not expecting that many bars or that sound or that production. But if you made it all the way through, I really appreciate you. And please consider subscribing because you obviously made it through a pretty lengthy video. I'm probably on like 19, 20 minutes right now talking. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. Links in the description below. Hit the Discord. Discord's on and popping at all times. I'm in there almost daily. If you want to support the boy monetarily because these videos get copyright strikes, not copyright strikes, they just get demonetized and I don't make any money off of them. If you want to support the boy's bills to keep the channel going, Patreon is definitely one of the best ways to do it. But that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.